what's going on guys i'm back again with another video and today i'm gonna try to actually get the s4 on the road so to do this i kind of need a new air filter for the front for the breather valve and for the actual uh intake and what i did earlier today was i put the actual side mirrors on finally replaced the side mirror so now i can finally see out the side of the car the rear mirror you know it's there but it's uh probably not that stable i have to address that pretty soon also but for the sake of driving i need some filters and now that i have mirrors i can actually get this thing on the road and the goal here is to pretty much remove this filter see what size it is and then also see why this isn't sitting as securely as need to be and then see if we can attach that breather hose right here at the bottom back to the intake and to find a filter that will fit on top of here also so i'm gonna go ahead and take off this filter first and then it's actually a this is an audi branded part so i'm gonna see what kind of uh, intake this is and see what i can find out about it All right, guys, so this is pretty cool what I just found out. So this is the stock uh, air box for the Audi S4. And a lot of people like to get their cold air intakes for the Audi S4, which run about $300. But whoever had this car had the amazing idea of just taking the stock air, stock air box, taking off that top section of the air box, and then sitting the pipe and filter inside this air box right here. Absolutely genius. So the main thing I need to do is find out what size filter this is. I'm going to head to AutoZone and pick that up. Also, I'm not sure if a breather valve filter will fit on top of here. So I just gave the airbox a quick bath and I'm going to wipe down the engine bay also. Because as you see, it's... Uh, it's pretty dirty. Well, turns out the intake has a carbon fiber finish on it. Who would have known? So pretty much the plan now is to take this filter to AutoZone, see they have something similar. And I'm also take the air box and see if I can find a breather valve that can kind of fit into this area right here. So this is the only filter that actually, this only filter that actually works to can and filter. This one is definitely the Spectre, or how we say this filter's name, but couldn't find this exact one up here. These are a better price option too, but nothing actually fits. So should do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get the KMA filter. So I got the air box back inside the car. The breather valve very barely stays on to this little connector point right here at the bottom and all i need now is an air filter and then the adapter and then the breather valve filter which i happen to have right over here all right so obviously it's the next day and i finally got my filter in from amazon came overnight and then i have my canon intake and we're going to slap this on today so at first I bought the wrong size breather valve filter from AutoZone and take this one back. But I found this one on Amazon. It's actually one inch diameter and this should be able to fit directly onto the breather valve hose. So what I figured out is that I can't find any attachments for this little air filter side of the intake. So what I'm gonna do is actually route the breather hose to the left side of the air box so in short it's going to sit over here outside the air box instead of inside the air box at some point i'm probably going to route the breather hose into the air box so that'll sit something like this the pipe is a little bit stiff so it might be a tad bit difficult but for now i'm going to have it sit on the outside of the air box so that i can actually drive the car for a little minute so this is not the highest of quality air filter you can actually see the glue on the inside holding it together kind of around the edges so hopefully this will last 
it's not that much of a vacuum honestly so it shouldn't do too much to filter but this is going to sit pretty much uh i thought it would sit on the inside of the, of the holes but i might be able to flex it and stretch it around the outside of the hose so i can actually slide a uh hose clip around it also all right so there it goes that's actually a pretty snug fit and i might just leave it like that because i don't see um I don't see what I can actually get the hose clamp in here. All right, so after further inspection, the hose clamp won't fit. So what I'm gonna do is just leave it like this for now and it feels snug enough. I'm gonna go ahead and get the air box in and the full intake filter on and I'm gonna try to fire it up. All right, so we got the air filter on and we have the breather valve hose on. Now this shouldn't be going anywhere. It shouldn't go down left and right. It might bounce back and forth, but that's a that's about it. Should be fine for the most part, I believe. Just sitting there properly. Air intake is on nice and snug. And I think I'm ready to start the car up. So let's see what it does. All right, so as you guys heard, the car sounds absolutely amazing. It's running super smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put it on the road now and probably try to get some tires on it. Hopefully these tires hold up for a little while longer. All right, so the car pulls to the left a pretty decent amount. Definitely needs an alignment. Other than that, it sounds great. We should, we're shifting into different gears. The brakes definitely need replacement. Takes a lot, takes a lot of effort to actually slow this thing down. Getting up to speed here. This is a very smooth ride too. Still no audio or anything like that, but very smooth ride, very comfortable. All right, so I just finished taking the car for a drive and this is absolutely amazing. It handles beautifully, except for pulling stuff a little bit. The brakes are a little bit shaky, but the drive is just so, 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 so smooth. And I'm actually riding in dynamic mode right now and it has lightning fast shifts. Everything seems very smooth with this car. I'm actually, ha I'm very happy right now. This is, this is actually insane. And we did get to hear a little bit of a supercharger noise as we took off, but uh, we want to try anything to get some more uh, tires on here and do a little more, a little more, uh, a little more in-depth uh, detailing on the car before we actually try anything with this. This is actually a surreal experience from seeing it uh, sitting in the front driveway with no transmission and no matronic, not able to turn on or move to actually being able to drive is literally insane so so i'm very happy with how this is actually turning out mm. 
So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more content on the Audi S4, this has been a long time coming to get it in a driving state. And uh, I have plenty more repairs to do on this car. If you want to see more content like that, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It really helps me out. And yeah, thanks for watching.